welcome back to the High Five Challenge. Well, we've had the red team, we've had the white team, and now we have the blue team standing by. Jeremiah, let's meet Team Blue. All right, hey, my mic matches this team. We got Team Blue here. All right, so this is Tyler. Hi. You match, the bow tie matches the mic. This is Blue Team, this is perfect, right? Give us a fun fact about you, Tyler. Uh, I'm half, I'm half ginger, I guess. <laughs> He's half ginger. That's very exotic. <laughs> Silas, right? Yeah. Okay, give us a fun fact. Uh, I play guitar. You play guitar, so musician. Great. When we get our talent division rolled out, you can be part of that. And this is Brian. He's going to bring in some more seasoned wisdom right to the table. Right. Fun fact about you, Brian? Uh, I have three wonderful grandchildren. Very three good. wonderful grandchildren. That is awesome. Nicholas, give us a fun fact. I play a lot of basketball too much. <laughs> Nicholas plays too much b-ball. All right, that's okay. And Ian, you're going to be the team captain. A lot of responsibility. Are you feeling nervous? Not really. <laughs> He's composed. He's more nervous about it being prom night for these guys, right? Hey. Fun fact about you. Uh, I do like to play basketball, too. Him and Nicholas, always on the b-ball court. Wayne, let's see if they can play the high five game show. All right, show. let's hear it for this team. <laughs> All right, and as Jeremiah pointed out, as soon as they're through taping, these guys, are, except for the middle one, are going off to their prom. That's why they're dressed so nicely. Okay. All right, here we go. We have 15 questions. The quicker you can answer, the better off you are. The more points you get. We have some great prizes. Here we go with the first question. Listen up. The letters HTML used as a markup language to create web pages. HTML stands for this. Talk it over. HTML. Hypertext. HTML. Quickly, you have 10 seconds. Time is just. All right, go to your lifelines. Check your smartphone. HTML. What's it stand for? HTML. HTML. All right. Quickly, look up look on your smartphones. High technician. Hurry, you got time. Time is a wasting. Okay. Hypertext. Markup language. Oh, time is up. Sorry. You got to get it quicker than that. It is hypertext markup language. You were getting it, but you got to be a little quicker on the top. Okay, here we go with another question. If you worked eight hours a day on Earth, you would work this many hours on a typical day on Venus, which takes 243 day Earth days to complete. If you worked eight hours a day on Earth, you would work this many hours on a typical day on Venus which takes 243 Earth days to complete. Okay, go to your lifelines. How do you think? Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So it should be 11. Okay, they're, they're slowly trying to add it up in their heads. 11, 11 days, 11 hours. Okay. 11 hours? Yeah, time is just about 11 hours. Okay, that is incorrect. It is 1944. 1944, that was a good year. Uh, okay, listen up. The Arabian camel, also called dromedary, has this many humps. Knock it over. Yeah, two. Okay. Two humps. Two is incorrect. Now one. go to your lifeline. All right. One hump, I think. All right, quickly. One hump. One hump is yeah. correct. Very good. One hump the first All right. Yeah. In 1920, the Walker Law was passed in New York re regulating this sport. The Walker Law. Passed in New York, regulating law. this sport. Go to your lifelines. Walker, Walker law. law passed in New York in 1920, regulated this sport. Fuck. Try boxing. Try boxing. Uh, what is boxing? Boxing is correct. Very good. <laughs> 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 boxing. All right, you got it. There we go. So you saved a few points there. All right. All right. In 1883, the Orient Express began offering passenger service between these two cities. The Orient Express, these two cities. All right, talk it over, you don't know, I have any idea. Orient Express, Orient Express the two cities that it went between, the Orient Express. You have a few seconds to go. Time is wasting. Don't you guys have phones? New York or Paris? That is incorrect. Oh, okay, that's just guessing. Okay. Paul, overseas. Okay, we're just about out of time. Time is up. Uh, it is Paris and Constantinople. Uh, I, I, I have, I have, New York Paris. to Paris would be uh, yeah. 
Uh, how could the, Ameri the Orient Express go across the... Oh, well, this one. Yeah. Let's not worry about it. This animal has the longest tongue relative to its total size. And no, it's oh. not one of the members of the band Kiss. Is it Anteater? Yeah. That is incorrect. Anteater oh. is incorrect. All right. Now you go to your lifelines. Uh. The longest tongue relative to its total size is this animal. The longest the tongue. Longest tongue relative to its giraffe? size? No. Oh. Relative to its size is a giraffe. Nectar bat. Is it a nectar bat? Nectar bat is incorrect. Okay, it's called the chameleon. Uh, the chameleon. Oh, chameleon. All right, here we go with another question. Yeah. This phrase is often used in typing practice because it includes every letter oh, in the no. English alphabet. The fox jump. No, okay. Tuck it over. Or? It's like the cat. Okay, quickly. It's something to do with fox. Yeah, the fox. The fox cat. Yeah. Okay. The, the fox jumped over the lazy dog. That's correct. The yeah. quick fox, quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. That's close enough. All right. Yeah, true. <laughs> All right, they got that one. That was, that was all me, guys. Uh, that was all me. Thank you. This passenger ship, owned by Royal Caribbean, is the largest passenger ship in the world. The largest passenger, passenger ship in the world, owned by Royal Caribbean. You have 10 seconds. Time is up. Go to your smartphone. The largest pass passenger ship in the world. Passenger ship. Well, it just came out. It just came out. What is the Oasis. show crew price? That is incorrect. Oasis of the Seas. Oasis of the Seas. That is incorrect. It is the Harmony of the Seas. Oh. Harmony. You were close. All right, listen yeah. up to this one. <laughs> Cooperstown, New York is the home of this nationally acclaimed Hall of Fame. Baseball Hall of Fame. Baseball Hall of Fame is correct. Very good. It's har it was Harmony of the Seas. It was a Harmony of the Seas, by the way. All right, here we go. Listen up. This is a name for the Greek goddess of victory. Nike. 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 What is Nike? Yeah. Nike is correct. Very Nike good. Now is. you're learning how to play the game. All right. Nike. They're doing okay. Here we go. Number 11. New Orleans is known as the birthplace of this type of music. Oh, jazz. Yeah. What is jazz? That is what correct. Is jazz? jazz is correct. Very good. Now you guys are on a roll. Yeah. All right. Here we go with number 12. NBA player, NBA player Kobe Bryant was actually named after this expensive Black delectable. Black Mamba. Uh, Black Mamba. That is incorrect. Oh, no, no. Now go to your Kobe beef. Go to your Kobe beef is correct. Yeah. Kobe, yeah, beef. Kobe beef. Like, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Number thirteen. Ready? Yep. This is the common term used for a homeowner, 62 years or older who turns their home equity into extra reverse, cash for reverse retirement. Mortgage. Reverse, reverse mortgage. mortgage. Reverse mortgage is correct. Very good. You see, it pays to have somebody yeah. a little older than yourself. Reverse mortgage. All right, very good. In late May of this year, A&E and Lifetime channels began airing a remake of this TV miniseries, Blockbuster, that first aired in 1977. Back in 1977, they did a rerun of this movie. Okay, time is up for 10 seconds. Go to your lifeline. Is it Roots? Nine, it's correct. Roots yeah. is correct. Nice. Very good. You were, you were asking him the question, but I gave you the yeah. answer. All right, number, the last question. In 1963, oh. this was the name of the first of many James Bond flicks that followed. The first James Bond flick in 1963. Oh. Okay. Okay. Doctor Who. Okay. Time is up. You go to you go to Strange your. Strange Love. Strange Love is correct. Incorrect. Okay. We'll give you one more, quickly. The first James Bond flick in 1963 was. First James Bond flick. Okay. Your time is up. Die another day. Okay. Time is up. Time is up. It is Dr. No. Dr. 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 No. Okay. Well, we're going to check their scores. We'll be right back and we'll declare our winner for today's round. We'll be right back after this message.